Hi everyone. Welcome to my new video about Canada. This time I've tried something different. I've tried putting down all the videos that I had from previous years and also from this year to make out one complete video on how the year goes on Canada. And after watching this video, you can probably decide whether to come to Canada or not. January to April is probably one of the most coldest month in Canada. These are the months for we get huge amount of snow and walking down the street becomes absolutely terrible sometimes. If you're planning to come to Canada, make sure that you bring the thick woolen jacket or coat or something that keeps you warmer. Also make yourself comfortable walking with the boots cuz you'll need that for most of the months. Um, the things that you would probably need would be a hat for a head, a jacket, gloves, um, thick socks, thick shoes, uh, probably eyeglasses if you want. That would be even a better choice for you to make. Adapting to Canada's winter is not that hard. You'll just struggle for a bit for a few months and then you'll get used to it. The summer in Canada. The most beautiful four months of Canada is from May to August. This is the time where the summer comes up. The winter has to say goodbye. I don't know why, but the month of May is something that I love and cherish the most in Canada. That's the point of time where the snow starts melting. You don't really get too many snowfalls out there. Everything starts getting warmer, and that's the time where we get a small chilly wind breeze every every time, mostly in the nights, so that we can feel some glamour that we used to feel when back home. In the beginning of May to August, this is the point of time where you don't see too many clouds in the sky. The sky is completely blank for the first couple of months and then slowly it starts building some cloud to rain in August. So if you are here in May or June and you don't see any rainfall, don't get confused. The countryside in the Winnipeg is one of the most beautiful visual that you can ever see. You won't see houses around, the only thing you will see is the concrete road and the green area around. Summer in Canada is pretty much the month where you gotta see what Canada has to offer. You go and see the nature out there, you go to the beach, you go to many different places. There's so many beautiful places out there you want to go and drop, see and visit. So in those times, I would definitely ask you to bring some sneakers with you, some pair of t-shirt and a uh, pant or shirts or whatever you have. Just try, try and dress yourself with some loosened clothes so that you don't get much heat because this place really gets too warm. This is the place where it gets minus 40 and this is also the place where it gets plus 40. This is the Cinnaboyne Park Zoo in Winnipeg and I went with the individuals that I worked with. So we definitely had a good time out there. We saw different animals out there. We saw different birds and we saw, we saw different creeping and crawling animals and then had a good time in the park. Park. Isn't it so much joy to see so many things that connect to nature out here in Canada? Since I'm from Winnipeg and we get extreme cold, so to see so much of greenery around, so much of beauty around, it's such a rare visual for us. And after almost eight to nine months, we get to see the greenery just for three months. One interesting thing about Winnipeg is that it's not the biggest city in the world. That is the reason why it 
experiences one of the huge rush during the rush hours that's from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning and then 3 p.m. to usually 5:30 p.m. in the evening here i introduce you with the fall of canada that is usually from september to december i put down the temperature as plus 20 to minus 20 out here it usually gets more than plus 20 sometimes and lesser than minus 20 the the time of the year where the leaves starts falling and then you will definitely see everything from the sky when you see from the top view the trees start getting barren and then there's a lot of things happening the, the snow falls along with that the leaf falls and then you start to get introduced to the winter of canada and this is the point of time where you start feeling whether you are for the country of canada or you are not I've always loved fall for one of the most challenging moments of my life because it's so hard after you come from plus 40 temperature to around minus 40 or something and then you gotta challenge yourself with the whole four months whether you are ready for it or not. You know the snow falls, falls in a such a way that you start feeling depressed with the white desert. I call Winnipeg as one of the desert. It's, it's a white desert for me because everywhere you look it's complete white. The roads are full of snow the places are full of snow you 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 get so much hard times walking around you you don't have much things to do you have to get fully covered uh, and even after getting covered you do have the chances of getting frostbite september to december can be a little tricky to adapt the first year i was here september got a huge amount of snow and the second year i was here september did not even get a single piece of snow so it's a little tricky but for uh, for general to be good for september to december i would always insist you to have yourself with the casual uh, cold dress or something like that you know uh, a hoodie and a um, woolen cloth that you wear from inside because uh, when you are inside the university or your workplace or somewhere it's always warm the ac is on the heater is on so you don't really feel the cold the cold is only for outside um, but generally you can have yourself with some hoodie um, good tight pants or warmer pant sneakers can be good for the september or you may still wear the warm boot so that you don't feel too much cold this is a video that i captured in the university of winnipeg uh, it was back on 2019 i suppose when the university was open so this place is a library it's it's actually outside the library and uh, this is a great patio to be in when it's in summer but during winter or fall because of the snowfall we are not allowed to go there but yeah this is the view that you see from university of winnipeg uh, this place really gets amazing views uh, it's on downtown of winnipeg and it's always always a great place to visit so that was the video guys the place gets real cold and real warm if you want more information you can definitely dm me please do subscribe and like the video for more content i'll be coming back with some more information in the coming days till then have a good day